Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. You're welcome to the Golden Treasure Hub. And my name is Ngozi Bizoro. You are highly welcome. God bless you as you tune in. Please like and share and follow the page and also subscribe to my YouTube page, Ngozi Bizoro, and you'll be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. How was the day, your work, your business, and everything, your family? Thank God for the grace of God upon our lives to sustain us. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, this is the Golden Treasure Hub. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. We are still in God's presence, rejoicing and basking in God's glory. Hallelujah. Can we bow our head to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, we bless your holy name, we worship you. You are King of glory, you are the Lord of laws, you are the almighty God, the one who seated on the throne, you make it the earth your foot still. I worship you, Abba Father, the beginning and the ending. Lord, we say thank you for your love upon us, we thank you for your divine protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your preservation. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done in our lives. You are the lift up of our heads, our Ebenezer. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All of you, none of us, take, and take control, rule, and rule over us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Today we are going to be looking at the topic that says, The Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be taking my scripture from the book of Psalm, Psalm 23, from verse 1 to 6. I want us to see the qualities of a good shepherd. And all that he does, his responsibilities, his commitments over our lives. Hallelujah. The good shepherd will meet your needs in the name of Jesus. And I declare and declare in your life, you will never lack a shepherd over your life in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. I'm going to read from the New King James Version, Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6. Open your scripture if you're with your Bible or whatever you have, the gadget you have that has a Bible, open it to Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6. I read, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. You will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You will be planted in the house of God in the presence of God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We'll be looking at this scripture. And I know you will draw strength from it because it is the word of God. And the word of God is truth. The word of God is here and amen. And the word of God cannot come out void. 
it must accomplish that which I sent it for. Amen. And the word of God is powerful. So let's look into the book of Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6, as we have read. Amen. Who is a shepherd? Who is a shepherd? A shepherd is a person who heads, tends, feeds, and guides flocks of sheep. Hallelujah. Is a person who tends and who heads, who keep and guide the flocks of sheep. It's also a person who protects, guides, and watch over a person for a person who protects, guides, or watch over a person or a group of people is a shepherd. Hallelujah. Even at the head of the family is a shepherd of that house because he lead, he guide, he protects his family, he provides for them. So the head of the family, the father, is a head and is a shepherd over his family. Amen. So what is the duty of a shepherd? As you have read in the scripture, a shepherd is committed to a flock and the one responsible for guiding the sheep, protecting them and attending to their needs. Hallelujah. So a shepherd is committed to his flock. Amen. If it is for a family, the head of the family is committed. He has responsibility to provide for his family. Hallelujah. Also, his duty is to serve as a shepherd. It means to demonstrate commitment to the well-being of others. To see to the well-being of people under him. Hallelujah. This is some of the duties of a shepherd. Hallelujah. It also involves watching out for them. You watch out for them. Helping them and teaching them. So he directs them. That is part of the duty of a shepherd. It's, it involves watching out for them. Helping them and teaching them. Hallelujah. So in this time of ours, it's not a period or season of murmuring and complaining. Because we know what we are facing today in the whole world. There is scarcity of money. Inflation is there. Hardship is there. The economy is not booming like before. Some certain things have been hold. Hallelujah. So it is not a season for you and I to murmur or to complain. Amen. But it's a season to totally trust in the Lord. You have to totally trust in God. Just as you have read, the Lord is our shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Though things may be difficult, though things may not go the way you, you want it or it's supposed to be. But I want to tell you that there is a good shepherd who will provide all you need. Hallelujah. Amen. So you need to totally trust in the Lord. Because our God is more than able to supply all your needs. Even as the word of God has said in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 19. I'm going to read two different versions. 
message. You can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. His generosity exceeding even yours in the glory that pours from Jesus. The message version said it. You can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. Amen. Do you see that this is the reason why you need not to murmur and complain? Because you have a God that can supply, that can take care of you and your family. Amen. And New King James Version said, Philippians 4 verse 19, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is Apostle Paul talking to the people of Philippians. Hallelujah. Because they exceeded his expectation. Amen. And he said, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Meaning that you will not lack anything. It means you will not lack. So murmuring and complaining will never solve problem. Instead, it compounds it. It can lead to sickness. It can lead to anxiety. It can bring fear into your life. Fear of unknown. How will I cope? How will I feed my family? How will I pay my, foot my bills? But especially, this is a period of, of paying school fees, even house rent. You need not to murmur or complain. Hallelujah. It can lead complain and murmuring. It can lead to depression. It can lead to death. Remember what happened to the children of Israel. They forgot what God did to them, did for them when they were in the land of Egypt. They began to complain and murmur to Moses. They were saying, do you bring us from Egypt? We are will eat cucumber. We are will eat lettuce. We are will have so many things, carrot to eat. Do you brought us out from there to the wilderness for us to die? Amen. That should not be a portion. You will not murmur. You will not complain. Rather, you will trust in the Lord. Amen. And your God will supply all your needs. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I want you to do all you could do to draw close to Jesus, the good shepherd, and trust in him. Bible says those that trust in the Lord, they will never be put to shame. I decree in your life, in your family, you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. I decree into your life, into your destiny, you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, if you agree with me, you will receive it. In the name of Jesus, you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, your family will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, amen. As a good shepherd, God provides for your needs, physically, mental, and spiritual well-being. God will not just provide only in the physical. He will also provide mentally. Because if your mental is sound, you will enjoy the goodness of God. You will enjoy the provision of God. Because some people that are married, even if they see that money, they will not appreciate it. It will become nothing in their sight. 
Amen. So God will provide for you physical, mental, mentally, and otherwise. Amen. Amen. If you go to the book of John, chapter 10, verse 11, the word of God says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So the good shepherd always gives his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. How do I know? David the shepherd boy. We know the story. How he went after the enemy of the sheep that he was he was in custody with. Hallelujah. The bear the lion came to eat up the sheep under his custody. David have to war against the bear and the lion and God gave him victory. He was able to rescue the sheep. Hallelujah. How much more God. So David the good the, David the shepherd boy knew the life of a shepherd. He knew the responsibility of guiding the sheep from the perils of life. He knew it. That a shepherd need to protect. He need to guide. He need to watch over. He need to watch over. The sheep, the sheep. Hallelujah. When one submits to the shepherd, the shepherding of God, he trusts that God will provide all that is necessary for his survival. Hallelujah. When you submit to the shepherding of God, he and trust in him that he will make a provision available to meet all and all the things you need for survival. So sheep are completely dependent on the shepherd. Sheep are completely dependent on the shepherd guidance and protection. Amen. So the Lord, being the good shepherd, you are his sheep. You will not be frightened by any passive animal or anything or any danger. But obedient follower, the only thing is to be obedient, to follow his leading, to follow his guidance. Hallelujah. And also to be wise enough to follow who will lead you in the right places and in the right way. You must be wise enough to follow who will lead you to the right place and the right way. So I'm encouraging you today to trust in the Lord, the good shepherd. He will guide you. He will lead you. He will watch over you in the name of Jesus. His eyes will always run through and fro to watch over you and all concise you. Hallelujah. So today, as you recognize the good shepherd, follow him in totality. Follow him in totality. Depend on him. Trust in him. Hallelujah. If you do that, you will not be murmuring. You will not complain. Because he will be your sufficiency in life. Hallelujah. So as you allow God, your shepherd, to guide you, 
you will have contempt contentment contentment hallelujah you will lack nothing because you always be there for you to provide for you so i decree into your life you will lack nothing say amen to that i decree into your life and destiny you will lack nothing in the name of jesus you will not lack anything good from god in as much as you depend on him you follow his leadership you will never lack i say you will never lack in the name of jesus amen hallelujah so from today, you will experience more than enough in the name of Jesus. You will experience more than enough abundance of God's supply shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. When men are saying that is casting down, you will be saying that is lifting because the good shepherd will make provision available in the name of jesus amen life in green pasture is always the best life to live he said he lead them in green pasture pasture is a place where you'll be fed and you'll be filled and you'll be satisfied amen in that scripture, when the sheep goes into the green pasture to be fed, after they are satisfied, they have to lie down to rest. So you will be satisfied because the good shepherd will lead you to the green pasture where you'll be filled and be satisfied hallelujah amen not only in the physical you also spiritual food there is spiritual food amen and it come from god it come from him you he, you will take rest in the shadow of his care in the name of jesus you will take rest you and your family in the shadow of his care in the name of jesus because the lord will always and ever lead you to the green pasture and you will be satisfied hallelujah amen and amen so a good shepherd leads his sheep to a place of security he always shield them he always puts them in a place where they are safe that nothing will touch them hallelujah so a good shepherd lays his sheep to a place of security where their life is safe where their life is secured that the enemy will not snatch them the enemy will not distract them the enemy will not kill them this is the work of the good shepherd will you make jesus your good shepherd today hallelujah so as you allow the lord to lead you in this year and beyond your life will be secured in the name of jesus your life will be secured in the name of jesus because the good Lord will build a wall of fire round about you. He will be a wall of fire to protect you, to guide you, to preserve you, to keep you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the shepherd have confidence in the leadership of the shepherd. You must have confidence in the Lord. You must have confidence that the work of your hands will produce profit for you. You will have confidence 
that your business will yield dividend profit for you because you are led by the good shepherd hallelujah amen since you have faith that god is head over all things and and all things is under his control he is the head of all things and everything all things in the world is under his control then you are then you are confident that all things will work for good for your life if the good shepherd is in control of your life and your business you have confidence that everything will work out for good in your life amen i decree that things will work for your own good in the name of jesus and that shall be a portion throughout this year and beyond in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen the good shepherd is with you you don't need to be afraid the good shepherd is watching over you jesus is watching over you is watching over your business is watching over everything that concerns you you need not to be afraid just to trust in him just to be obedient to follow his leadership because he said he will lead you to green pasture hallelujah amen in verse 5 of psalm 23 bible said the bible said i want to read it again it says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup runs over i decree overflow in the name of jesus in your business you experience overflow in your spiritual life you experience overflow in the name of jesus amen so in verse 5 where i read the lord prepare a table before you before your enemies meaning that publicly publicly openly god will manifest by providing making provision available in your life and as you do so it will shock your enemies amen it will shock them because the expectation over your life over your family over your children over your career will never come to pass in the name of jesus every expectation of the enemy concerning your life today is terminated in the name of jesus it is terminated in the name of jesus all the evil expectation will never come to pass the lord has frustrated them already in the name of jesus amen so preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemy god will manifest in your life in a manner that it will shock them amen they will begin to confess within themselves despite all that you have done despite all the evil expectation from your enemies you are rising and you are shining yes the word of god has said so in the book of isaiah 60 verse 1 he said arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you isaiah 
uh, as you're expecting, they're imagining evil against you. You will continue to rise and shine in the name of Jesus because the good shepherd is leading you. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. So you will rise and you will continue to shine. If you go to the book of Genesis chapter 20, uh, chapter 50, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, you know what happened to Joseph? And his brothers, the brothers plan evil against him to truncate his destiny. But the God Almighty said, No way, he must fulfill his destiny. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the one whom they ridiculed, the one who they wanted to terminate his life and truncate his destiny, was the one God raised for them. To help them when there was scarcity in the land. And they went to Egypt where David, where Joseph was overseer. Hallelujah. And that place says, Genesis 50 20, what the enemy meant for evil, the Lord turned it around for good. So shall it be in your life. Whatever enemy meant for evil in your life, in your family, the Lord will turn it for good. The Lord will turn it around for good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of the enemy will be withered against you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All the evil protection. All their evil prediction, all their evil expectation shall come to nothing. The hand of the Lord have frustrated it because they, are, they will continue to be disappointed by God. Hallelujah. Amen. So at last, Joseph was a victor. You will be a victor in the name of Jesus. You will be more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, you are a winner because the good shepherd is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Your testimony, your testimony, we have no limits. In the name of Jesus, it will continue to roll in on daily basis because the Lord will put laughter in your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord will anoint your head with oil. You will not lack. You will lack oil of honor. The Lord will honor you. The good shepherd will honor you because he will anoint your head with oil. The oil of honor, oil of promotion, oil of lifting will be your passion in the name of Jesus. The oil of grace will be lavish over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And verse 6 says, verse 6 of where we read, Psalm 23. Psalm 23, verse 6. Hallelujah. I hope you are with your Bible. Amen. Verse 6, Psalm 23, verse 6. It says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I decree over your life that the goodness of God, the mercy of God, shall ever follow you in the name of jesus anywhere you go any country you enter any organization you enter in the name of jesus the mercy of god the goodness of god the favor of god shall follow you in the name of jesus hallelujah and he says 
He shall follow you all the days of your life. It will continue in your life. In as much as you do not derail from the good shepherd. In as much as you continue to trust in him. You continue to have confidence in him to lead you. The mercy of God will never expire. His goodness will not expire over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, his love will not expire because his love is unending. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As the Lord leads you, you will continue to dwell in the house of the Lord. You will always find yourself in the presence of God. He will not allow anything to take you off balance from his presence. He will not allow anyone to cajole you, to disobey the leading of the good shepherd over your life. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And Bible said, his cup runs over. You experience overflow. Overflow of anointing. Overflow of business. Overflow of profit. Overflow of favor. Everything about you overflow. Abundance. More than enough. Uncountable. You cannot measure it. Hallelujah. This is the good shepherd. He is committed over your life. Your own is to respond to the love he has shown to you. Your own is to respond to his leading, to the instruction, and do it accordingly. Amen. He will watch over you and I decree over your life that the eyes of the Lord will continue to watch over you in the name of Jesus. You will not walk in darkness in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So I encourage you today, you should not murmur, you should not complain. Rather, trust in the Lord, doing the right thing. Allow Him to lead you. Allow Him to take you in the right path. Allow Him to take you in the right place and at the right time. Hallelujah. The good shepherd is committed. To protect you, to preserve you, to keep you, to watch over you. Hallelujah. So I encourage you today to draw closer to him. Amen. Because the word of God said, Jesus said, My sheep knows my voice, and they will never follow a strange voice. I hope you recognize the voice of the good shepherd over your life. Because a strange voice, if you know the voice of your master, if you know the voice of the good shepherd over your life, you will never be misled. So Jesus is a good shepherd. Why not follow him as he leads you? He leads you to the place of security. He leads you to the green pasture where you feel and be satisfied. And you also take rest in his shadow of care. Amen and amen. 
And as you do so, he will continue to lead you. Amen and amen. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So do not be afraid of tomorrow. Do not be afraid of what may come on your way tomorrow. Only commit it into the hand of God. He will guide you and he will lead you. Amen. He's a righteous God. Hallelujah. And also be confident in his leading. Hallelujah. Amen. The good shepherd is watching over you, is watching over your family, is watching over the country you reside, is watching over my country, Nigeria, is watching over your family, is watching over everything that have to do with you. The eyes of the good shepherd is upon you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Only allow him, allow him to rule, allow him to take charge, submit yourself to him. Hallelujah. Openly, publicly, he will announce you. He prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. The enemy will say, ah, this one is not alone. He has a God. And that shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, they will testify of the goodness of God over your life. Amen. Do not be discouraged. And do not murmur nor complain. Do not allow anxiety and fear of unknown, fear of tomorrow. Only submit to his leading. And he cares for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Can we lift up our voice and say, Father, I thank you for being my shepherd my good shepherd in the name of jesus and i pray for you that the good lord will continue to be your good shepherd in the name of jesus amen and i decree you will not while away you will not wander away from his presence in the name of jesus i also decree that his presence will not elude you. In the name of Jesus, he will continue to guide your ways unto righteousness, unto the right path. In the name of Jesus, I want you to lift up your voice and pray that the Lord will be a good shepherd and you will never lack. Pray for yourself. That you will never lack. You will not lack any good thing from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. And I decree over your life, you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. I decree over your business. That your business will flourish. In the name of Jesus. I decree over your career. Your career will be successful. In the name of Jesus. I decree over your health, in the name of Jesus, you have rest. Amen. Because the Lord will feed you and you will be satisfied. You will be filled and be satisfied. And I decree rest over your life, over that issue in your life that is making you to have sleepless nights. I decree rest over those issues in the name of jesus i decree rest sound mind in the name of jesus 
because the Lord has taken control over all those issues. In the name of Jesus, amen. Abundance is your portion beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus, whatever you lay your hands upon that is legitimate shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. You will no longer toil. You will no longer struggle. In the name of Jesus, I decree over your life, you will continue to spend the currency of heaven. In the name of Jesus, because the Bible said in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, that my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, and so shall it be in your life, in your family, in the life of your husband, in the life of your wife, in the life of your children, in the life of your loved ones, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I also decree and declare that the goodness and mercy of God shall follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not lack the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, you will not lack his leadership. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give praise unto your holy name. We adore you. We lift you high in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, much less name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. And may the Lord keep you and watch over you throughout this week and beyond. Till we meet again, stay blessed. Amen. I love you. Subscribe to my YouTube page, my YouTube channel, Mgoze Guzaro, my Instagram, The Golden Treasure Home, and follow this page. You'll be richly be blessed. Share to people. Like and share and comment. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye for now.